Hello, and good morning, y'all, and welcome to Deeper Mind. This is a horror game about mind control in the human subconscious, and that is all the store page says, so I'm quite intrigued. I'm going to have it linked down in the description below if you want to play it yourself. Without further ado, let's see what this is all about. Deeper Mind. Hello. Oh, we can press the on there. Okay. One sec. We'll see each other again. Oh, sorry. We've never seen each other. I won't tell you who I am. It's not important, but I know who you are. I think you know why you're here. If you don't know, go deep into your mind. You have one hour to escape from this room. Otherwise, a poisonous gas will begin to come out of the vents on the walls, contaminating you all. The timer starts now. Huh. So we got like a bit of like a saw situation? Got an hour to figure out why we're here, and we gotta break out oh, of the room. Sorry, the last thing for you. Yeah. You. I know you know who I'm talking about. If you don't know, I'm talking about you. How to say, you are a special boy. You're not here for any particular crimes. Okay, listen. We've studied you carefully. You can control people's minds. You can go deep into people's subconscious. You have to disappear. I'm gonna disappear. You're so fidgety. Why do you guys not care? Poisonous gas is coming into this room in the next hour. Go deep. Oh. Ooh la la. Let's go. Alright, we're in the force. Oh, hello. What's that saying? Richie Tozier. <clears throat> or Tozier. Tozier? 13 years old. A description, date of birth, 1976, 13 years old. It's too hard to read, though. You can't turn off the flashlight, it looks like. Okay. Might want to tone that down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is actually a game made for the beginner's jam, so I'm assuming this is, like, games made quick by newer developers. Um, so I gotta kind of go with the frame of mind uh, that that was how this is made. But I already dig the fact that we had, like, that nice intro there. So I can go into people's minds. I can figure out, I guess, like stuff about them we have an hour to break out or else we die to poisonous gas you know we got a little, little bit of a saw situation a little bit of like a, a medium situation here all right so i hit like the edge here oh dear lord don't tell me i gotta go through the woods and find like just some random thing oh boy okay maybe because it was an invisible wall so i don't know like, is this like how a person's mind is? Like, is this like the mind forest? I assume this is the edge, yeah. Okay. So we gotta be looking for something. Be able to see like a person in the distance or like a light. Ooh, hello. Ooh, ooh what's this? Ooh. Is that like a building? That's a building. Okay. Let's go. Hello. How do I get inside of you? Huh? Whoa. I don't. It does make the game freak out, so maybe that's not what I'm looking for. Like, I kind of, like, unlocked my cursor, maybe play Windows noises. God damn it. Let's see. I wonder how far down we can go here. That's also assuming my hypothesis that uh, we're just going to find random shit in the forest is true. But there's, like, no clear path here. It's like a scream. So maybe this is right. No, no, look, we have, like, you kind of see, like, the line of trees. So this is going to definitely be the, the wall coming up. Right? Or not? What was that? Are the sirens? 
Yeah. Oh, hello. Damn, we found Tom the Somali cop. What do we got? Lisa. The nine cruiser here. Burned up car. Oh, I see. You wonder why I, I, the game froze up. The mouse cursor doesn't actually lock itself to the game. I hate when games do that. Thankfully, it doesn't look like I gotta click anywhere. Because that is a huge issue in games when it does that. Anything here? Oh, hi, what's that? I thought I heard like something magical. Hello, what are you? I did it. You found the first piece of the key. Interesting. Well, I think you understood your task. You went deep into the subconscious of Richie Tozier, a boy who about 15 years ago murdered his family and ran away into the forest. Oh. It was never found, but hey, you have it right here. However, now that you have found the first piece of key, you only have 34 minutes left before the event. I advise you to hurry if you don't want to end up in the depths too. So we go deep in this guy now, so someone named Ricky Tozier, he killed his family. We found his key, he disappeared in the forest. Okay. What we got here? Full house? Okay. I see a little sticky note here. Is this anything? It is. Alright. Arrange the vase next to the TV. Lock the window. Arrange the carpet in the bedroom. Lock the door. Don't open the door to strangers. Love, Mom. Uh, so I assume this is the vase. Why didn't Mom fix this? What the fuck? That must... Okay, that's one way to lock windows. We're playing fucking COD zombies? What are we doing? Okay. Ooh, I recognize this house asset, actually. This is, uh... I played this in a different game called Village Sins on Edge. Yeah! I like when I recognize some of the assets. I like this house. Lock the door. Don't open for strangers. Okay. Don't listen. Don't listen to mom. Open for me. No. I won't. Can I watch TV? Whoa. Hello? Hello? Is this no change? Can't even view it. You know, I like the house layout. I wish more games used it. Look at that magical sounding as a set. It's too bright here. What is this? Yeah. Okay. How to say it? I didn't think you could actually get this far. Time has been running out for a while, but your mind had to be stuck inside theirs. You shouldn't be here. There's no real way out of here. You're stuck in an infinite loop. You will be here for eternity. The mind is an imaginary place that we can only imagine. That's why dreams exist. Right? What if this was your mind? What if you were stuck in your thoughts forever? You went too deep. Try to find an exit for your mind. Imagine something bigger. Some way out of this infinite encroachment. Dream about escaping from this mental prison you have created for yourself. Everything you have experienced is not real. Try to walk away from yourself. From me. Um... Be 
can walk. Okay. Thanks for playing. We escaped to the credits. <gasps> Brilliant. All right, so there's a lot of time to spend walking in the forest. It was a very short experience in the forest, but you know, I kind of wish there was like more of like a direction, like where to go. Unless you were bound to run to stuff you needed anyways. But I love the concept. Like conceptually, I kind of love that Saw meets like going into people's minds. Like Saw meets like Inception sort of style thing. Go straight to escape your mind. Let me guess, this is just going to close the game, right? Um, yeah. Uh, come out of the deep. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the plot layout. Uh, I enjoyed the segments. Like, both segments are rather short, especially the house segment. I wish there was more to the house segment. Um, yeah, I closed the game. Okay. Uh, I do feel like we kind of got the beginning. Like, we got the intro and we got the end. I do feel like we didn't quite get, like, the middle, like, the real meat, but it was a beginner's jam game jam game. It was, like, ten minutes long, you know? There's only so much that could be done. Um, no, I just, I really like that for what it was. Yeah, cool. Cool game. Would love to see more from this developer. Would love to even see that expanded upon more. Uh, I love my narrative horror, and I feel like there's a lot of potential with, like, kind of going into people's minds and having, like, that saw element that if you don't figure out what you gotta do like, soon enough, like, you'll die in the real world. Like, I think that's a cool little dynamic. Uh, so, yeah. Cool game. Again, that was uh, Deeper Mind. I'll have it linked in the description down below. But that's going to do it for this video. So, thank you all very much for watching. Y'all have a lovely day. And as always, toodles, y'all.